Welcome to the June 2024 CV News Video Summary. This is what you will find in this month's edition. The European Parliament elections are coming up this week. Please remember to vote if you are eligible. We are happy to announce further pledges from the candidates as part of the Vote Volunteer Vision campaign. CV thanks everyone who was involved in the CV Spring Volunteering Congress in Trento. Trento also hosted the Volunteer Fair in May. And there was a Volunteer Festival in Qashqais. And also a Volunteer Fair in Mechelen, where the Volunteer Faces and Voices exhibition took place. Save the date for the CV Autumn Volunteering Congress in November. CV has approved a new policy on European status for volunteers in voluntary service programs and the CV board convened in Trento on 15th of May. The CV president spoke at the Economics Festival of Trento and volunteering has been included on the SOI EU elections program. CV has been involved in a meeting with the PES common candidate Nicola Schmidt and was present at the International Samaritan Forum. CV was also participating in the Erasmus Plus Coalition meeting and in the dialogue of the candidates for the Secretary General of the Council of Europe. We were also present at the Strategic Dialogue online meeting on disability and inclusion in the future of the European Union and at the Civil Society Europe Working Group on Civic Space and Fundamental Rights. As part of the VERA project, the National Vote Volunteer Vision event was held in Ireland there have been trainings about involving people with disabilities as volunteers. And National Volunteer Weeks have been held in Croatia, Slovenia, Spain, Portugal and Ireland. The VCALC Volunteer Impact Measurement Project is ongoing. And applications are now open for part of the ECVAL project. New materials are available for the Evidence project. and also new tools as part of the V4V project. Applicants can now apply for the Regional Service Learning Award, Slipstream. CV will be present at the ISTR conference presenting two Erasmus Plus projects. And you can apply to participate in the Solidarity European Meeting for European Solidarity Corps. BBE has launched a testimonial initiative about civil society issues for the European Parliament elections and Croatian Volunteer Development Centre has held its National Volunteer Week. PVE has held its General Assembly in Madrid in May, and Sardinia Solidale has also held its General Assembly and elected a new board. CASES has opened the call for the Antonio Sergio Cooperation and Solidarity Award, and the Volunteering Week took place in Catalonia. Slovenska Philanthropia held the National Volunteering Week in May, New newsletters are now available on European issues connected with volunteering. There is a consultation about the SURF programme open until 27th of June. In other news, Belgium has a new civic service for young people. The European Youth Forum has elected a new board of young volunteers. You can register to participate in the LLP days and apply for funding amongst the 100 and change competition. The Good Lobby has a guide about the EU elections. And NCVO in the UK has produced a manifesto in relation to the UK elections coming up in July. You can also participate in the IVCO conference taking place in September in Newcastle in the UK. We hope you enjoy reading, watching and listening to this month's CV News.